name is Shell, and welcome to Intuitive Insight, one of my series here on YouTube. I know it's been a little while since I've done one, but I was just taking a look at Donald Trump, right? And I was looking at him, and I was saying to myself, I said, listen, I said, the GOP is starting to be on his ass. There's like, okay, you popular, you fun, but this is what we need you to do, right? And he still is like, no, nah, I got my own ideas on that. Donald came into this talking shit, but now he's looking over stuff. He's like, y'all ain't right neither. He realizes a Republican because ain't even right. Like the shit they have him doing, he goes and he thinks about it and he looks up stuff. And Donald's not stupid. He's smart. He's looking up stuff. He's like, yo, the shit y'all doing is grimy too. But see, he a businessman himself. So he's like, all of this shit is grimy. Like he knows it before he even getting in it, right? So his whole mindset is like, yo, when I get in here, they going to try to fuck me like they fucking, they tried to fuck Obama. And this is Republicans. This is GOP. Because the GOP wants someone that they can control. They want to stick their hand up his ass. And do Donald look like he likes somebody's hand up his ass? Or has he ever had anybody's hand up his ass literally or figuratively? Come on, y'all. For real? I said in a video a long time ago, probably one of the worst, first videos I put on YouTube, about Donald Trump and and, and, and and Hillary Clinton and all of that. That's way back. I got to go back and look. But the first thing I said was, yo, I don't think he's going to stay in the whole thing. I said, he's going to back out. People thought I was playing. The threat on his family is bothering him a little bit. He, he doesn't want his family involved, but they're going to be involved. If you got the last name Trump and you ain't related to Trump, God bless you. Because if you are, holy dip. And if you got the name Trump, you need to watch who your back. <laughs> I don't mean to be disrespectful, but there's some serious threats. Something in the next 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 month or so is gonna be so close to him that he's gonna be like, oh hell no, that can't go on, that can't happen. I feel like he wants he gets it. He didn't get it at first. I really don't. I think he's just bullshitting at first. He's just going off at the mouth. It looked like a great business venture because it's 24-hour publicity of him and his empire. But now he's like really thinking about the stuff that is going on and what's going on overseas and all these things with ISIS are coming up. This is this is the divine. This is God bringing all this stuff up so that these candidates can really talk about what they are going to do about ISIS. ISIS don't care regardless. They don't give a fuck for who's president. They don't care who president. They do care about Obama though. They ain't doing no. They doing this shit now, but they ain't fucking with us. You remember 9/11, right? When this new president come, America needs to be very careful with ISIS, with the initiation of this new president. And I'd be damned if I don't want Hillary Clinton there. I want her there. I feel like they won't do what they will do to Donald. They will just have a field day. Because they feel like he has no foreign policy. They feel like he's a fucking punk. He's just a biz, rich, rich ass businessman. So I fear Donald Trump becoming president for that reason alone that we will be attacked 9 11 style from ISIS. Because they are afraid of Obama. They don't care, but they're afraid. They know they're not fucking with him. They're not coming over here. Obama done killed their head man already. They will wait. They will wait for us. They're waiting on this new president. So, that being said, Donald, I still don't feel like he'll be in it to the end. Even though he has this huge lead, I feel like something soon is just gonna, he's just gonna fall back like this. Wow, I can't do it. I just saw him literally fall backwards. So we will see. All right, y'all, that was Intuitive Inside by Renee Michelle. Y'all stay blessed.